when motion recording is enabled, the DVR will only record video when motion is detected. Left-click the Event icon, then click the Motion tab. A check mark in the Number column indicates that motion recording is enabled for the indicated channel. Individual cameras can be selected or deselected. The sensitivity setting determines how much a single motion block will have to change before a motion detection event is triggered. One is the least sensitive setting, and five is the most sensitive. Start out with a default value of three. If you're getting too many detections, try decreasing the value. If you're not getting enough detections, increase the value. The first and second values correspond to the daytime and nighttime sensitivities. Clicking the zone setting will bring up an array of blocks overlaid onto the camera's live view. Use the left mouse button to select or clear individual motion blocks. Motion will be checked only in the selected blocks. Clear the blocks where motion should be ignored. Right click the mouse and select OK when finished. The min blocks value sets the minimum number of motion detection blocks that must detect motion to begin recording. Raising the number will result in fewer events. Like the sensitivity setting, min blocks has a value that is valid in the daytime and one that may be set differently during nighttime. Zone view can be enabled to see which blocks are detecting motion during live view. This can be a good way to determine which motion blocks should be active or inactive for optimal recording. If zone view is left on during normal live viewing, the red indication tint will not be recorded. Motion detection events can be configured to trigger other events. Normally, the camera detecting motion will be recorded. Other cameras can be set to record as well, if desired. An alarm output relay on the DVR can be enabled to switch on an externally connected device such as a siren or floodlight. The DVR's internal beeper can also be triggered. The notify section can be used to initiate remote notification. An email message can be sent. The LAN selections can be used with the callback feature in Revo Remote Pro software. Push notification can be used with a mobile device running Revo Mobile. SNS can be used to send a message to a Twitter account, and the DVR's alert window can be set to display upon detected motion event. The motion ignoring interval can be changed if desired. Please note that this will only affect the motion event list and the frequency of notifications that may be sent out. This will not change the way the DVR records video. The DVR will always record video if motion is detected. The daytime hours can be changed if desired. The time interval, daytime, corresponds to the first value of the sensitivity and min block settings. This can be useful for cameras that will experience different day and night lighting conditions.